Hello again and welcome to the 8th part of this 12th MOOC dedicated to the production of sustainable biofuels. In the 7th part, the first steps of the hydro treatment unit were described. Let's now detail the chemical reactions involved. Once the last ppm of metals are trapped, chemical reactions can begin. Let's take the example of this triglyceride consisting of 3 C18 fatty acids and N unsaturation. So here it's a little complex. In fact, there are several reactions that can take place at the same time. The first reaction consists in letting 15 hydrogen molecules react with the triglyceride molecule. This reaction is called hydrodeoxygenation. This reaction consumes about 3.5 weight percent of hydrogen compared to the feed and leads to the formation of water for about 12 weight percent, propane for about 5 weight percent, and three saturated C18 molecules. The oxygen molecules combine with each oxygen atom to produce water and saturate the three carbon carbon double bonds. This reaction is the main reaction in the reactor. However, we also have a decarboxylation reaction that is in competition. This reaction consists in letting six hydrogen molecules react with a triglyceride. It leads to the formation of propane, about 5 weight percent, just like hydrodeoxygenation, CO2, for about 15 weight percent, and three saturated C17 molecules. Remember, it was C18 for hydrodeoxygenation. Indeed, this time hydrogen did not combine with each oxygen atom to produce water, but we have a production of CO2 which contributes to consume only 1.4 weight percent of hydrogen compared to the feed. The average global reaction that will occur in the reactor is therefore a mixture of these two reactions. We will therefore have a global chemical reactions that can be written in this form, with a global hydrogen consumption for about 3 weight percent, a water production of about 10 weight percent, a CO2 production of about 5 weight percent, and a production of a mixture of C17 plus C18 for an amount of about 85 weight percent. As for fatty acids, they react globally with this chemical reaction. About 2.4 weight percent of hydrogen is consumed and about 10 weight percent of water, 5 weight percent of CO2, and about 90% of a mixture of C17 plus C18 is produced if the fatty acid contains 18 carbon atoms. So, we see that the more fatty acids we have, the less hydrogen we consume. And that's it for today. See you very soon for the next part. Bye-bye!